vibeless Kim Sami. Man, I'm feeling good. We go turn up, turn up. Man, I'm feeling good. I mean, a vibeless Woo! Kim Sami. If it get MN like it too, that does. Uh, hello, welcome back. This is Trending SA on SABC3. Uh, we're also online on TrendingSA.tv. It is time for our MCM, everybody. So our MCM this evening is one of the most sought-after comedians in the country. He burst onto the scene through the legendary comedy sketch show Pure Monade on SABC1 uh, back in 2003. Now, he's a versatile performer who has appeared in sitcoms like The Coconuts. He's also starred in films such as Rom com white wedding you've seen him in hilarious adverts on your tv screens and he's also toured the country performing side splitting one-man comedy shows and of course you've seen him right here on sabc3 on his comedy panel um the show is called is that a fact ladies and gentlemen this is chris forrest <laughs> You, man. It is so good to finally be on the show. I know, right? Thank you, thank you for having me as your man crush Monday. I haven't crushed a man in ages. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, so you've been at the forefront of the comedy game for a while now. We mentioned uh, the Pure Monati show. Can we do a little bit of a throwback and have a look at you in action? I think we should because most of your viewers probably won't remember the Pure Monati show. Absolutely correct. So this is Chris Forrest in action. You'll recognize him by his glorious red hair. Let's, let's first talk about your selection. Kiko Kobani Bobo. He had a magnificent Super 12 and a brilliant Curry Cup. Now, I'm not a big rugby fan, but if I'm not mistaken, he plays at centre and he's one of the best centres we have in, a, in this country. He's also got those wonderful black thighs, rippling muscles, huge bulging biceps, and those pecs, the way they bounce up and down when he runs with the ball. He would have looked so good in that tight green Springbok rugby shirt. Why, why wasn't he chosen? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the comedy scene has evolved so much. Do you want to make a comment on that? Um, I, I vaguely remember that. It was, it was kind of more relevant at the time when we had a, a Springbok coach called Rudolf Strauli, I yeah. think. And there was kind of issues, and there was that was my impression of Deborah Patter. Ah. If, you were, if you were wondering, she, she had her, her own show at the time, and yeah. so that was a character I developed. That is Very really good. classic. How yeah, you could all see it right away, couldn't you? It was what? obviously like, oh, Deborah Patter. <laughs> what, what was it like as a, a young comedian at that time starting out? It was amazing. It was brilliant. There was because there were so few of us, so we, we were like. Uh, we were all very good friends, especially mm. the, the PMS crew. Yeah. Mm. So we were all good friends. We were just really having fun. There'd never been anything, any, anything like it done before. So mm. we were kind of finding our own way and we're seeing what's funny and what's not funny. And, and we just sort of, it, it evolved into something awesome. Mm. Yeah. I mean, looking back, you've done so many really cool things, TV shows, commercials, you've performed on ships, like you've really done <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun things. What would you say your greatest achievement is? Uh, I'm going to be weird and say my children. Of course. Mm. Oh. So you've got two. I have two. A little, little and a f five turning six, right? Five turning six and, oh, wow, they're on TV. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, that is my two turning three. Oh, no, 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 wait, that's an old picture. That, they both look very similar. <laughs> so that's actually the older one. That was a very old picture of it. Wow, you guys really went far Do back. Do you see comic traits in them? I do. My, my eldest one has already started attempting jokes. She's yes. got a couple of good ones. No, She's no, got no. like a stock one. Yeah. Which so, is? So she says, why did the dinosaur cross the road? Why? To visit his friend the chicken. <laughs> She's five. Come oh. on, guys. Oh, wow. Well, well oh. done. There we go. Well done, baby. That's now, cute. Now, one thing that I know for a fact is that you perform in some of the biggest comedy shows that exist uh, in the country. Events Ever. That in are, the world. In the world. In the world. I mean, some of Ever. the big, big things that happen. And... Uh, how does that, coming together with the local comedy scene, come together? Like, where do you see the two coming together? And also, where the future of the local comedy scene is going? I, I think as a country, we, we underestimate ourselves mm. on a regular basis. Our comedians are world class. Mm -hmm. We have some of the most talented guys in the world, and the proof is in the pudding. There's a man who, who's on a show that occurs daily. 
Um, <laughs> I don't want to say what it is. Uh, and, and we've got so many other guys, like Luis O'Call is doing fantastic things in Australia and London. He's going international. We've got more and more that are just going to get better and better. So it's, mm. in fact, there's too many talented comedians. It's making what, it tough. what about us is making the comedians so good? I think it's just because from where we've come from and learning to deal with difficult situations. Mm. You know, like we've always been able to, to make fun of, of things that go wrong. Mm. Like it, it's, we kind of take it in our stride, South Africans. Now, you don't only just uh, play with the jokes, but you're also very deep into the pots. Deep into the pots? Yes, a whole master just chef. Make sure you pronounce the S correctly. Pots, not... <laughs> <laughs> um, you went out there and won a whole competition. I did. Chef. I won a, a cooking show, mm. not knowing how to cook. Wow, right, so babe. something's happening in September. Uh, yes. It's got to do with prize. Uh, tell me more about that. So uh, I kind of looked at... I do a lot of foodie type... Um, shows and people ask me to, to kind of do team building things like like poiki course competitions and I looked at at ways we can make it more inclusive and make it more fun and whatever so I came up with this concept called the Bri Olympics okay. mm. that I've been doing a lot of corporate team building things with uh, the That's past cool. few months mm. Mm. and so now I wanted to I'm taking public because the people at uh, at the Rand Park Golf Club asked me if I wouldn't mind doing something for Heritage Day and I okay. said well Let's do this Bri Olympics thing. Let's bring everybody together. We can all Bri. It's not, it's not purely Bri. It's Bri tasks that we put together, and you have to have a team, and everybody on the team does something, and it's mm. a lot of fun. Wait a minute. What's Bri tasks? Don't oh, you just light the fire, <laughs> put the meat? Eat? Yeah, you see, that would just be Bri. This is uh, the Bri Olympics. You know, like, like in athletics, you don't just run. Yeah. There's different things. There's the 100 meters, the 200 uh, meters, uh, the high jump, the long no, jump. Okay. So outside of food and comedy and your kids, your other passion is cycling. <laughs> that is you. It, it is indeed. And uh, you managed to advertise a medical aid there. That's cool. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> they'll be very happy. Yes, I, I do cycle quite a bit. It's how, you know when you get to my age, you guys will get there one day. Oh. Um, <clears throat> then, then you have to keep fit. So uh, I actually i am quite involved with a charity called The Page Project. Mm -hmm. okay. And so it was quite a few years ago they asked me, you can see I've got the Page Project sleeves in that picture. And um, they asked me if I wouldn't mind um, doing, doing the, the 947 Cycle Challenge to raise funds for them. Mm -hmm. They're one mm -hmm. of the biggest people. And so at the time I was a bit larger than I am right now and I thought they were insane, but somehow I did it. And mm. so the bug bit, so now I do a lot of it. Nice. You do 109 kilometers, that's hectic. I do it every Sunday now. Is it? Uh, yes, that's fun for me. Nice one. Wow. Lala, um, we've got a little section called um, Behind the Tweet, the story behind, behind the tweet. Behind the Tweet. Upper Eternity SA, we love going through your tweets and finding out what the story oh, I is. I was going to tell you about that one. We've chosen one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we've chosen one, and you must tell us exactly what's happening here, what the context is, Mas Jongin. Okay, so we're going to do a diet forecast. We've got some nice red meat, some butter, some cream, some eggs. Not a carbohydrate in sight. Flip in heaven on earth. You cannot beat this. You cannot beat this. Except the cream. You can beat the cream. <laughs> nice. So what was happening? Of course we know the context was... Yes, I think you, we all know the context. Mm. So um, the, the man came out with his video and it wasn't the brightest thing on any level. The, like, the dude is just an idiot. So as a comedian, David Cow did the first one, the Adam mm. Katsavellos challenge, and then Tats did one. And so we all started just... And I was like, you have to show this guy for the idiot that he is. Mm. Like, just the, the stupidity of his video that he made. Mm. So I was just kind of spoofing him. I hope you like the hat. I did. And the sunglasses. And, the sunglasses. <laughs> and of course, the, the muscular chest. <laughs> and, uh, Reflected his. <laughs> of course. Now, uh, this month we are celebrating our heritage, right? Mm -hmm. And having conversations around identity using the hashtag who are you online. So prior to um, the show, we asked you to prepare three famous South Africans that you can impersonate. <laughs> and we need to guess who you are impersonating. Okay. Are we all ready? Yes. All right. Sure. I'm ready. Oh, uh, are you ready? Well, no, I'm terrible because I'm really bad at impressions. So I'll start. Are you? I'll start with the easy one. Okay. okay. Ah, uh, never again. Oh, they got it. I have no idea. Nelson Mandela. Yes. What? Isn't it Morgan? Huh? I mine is Holy Cat. Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's Kofi Annan. Yes, no? that was it. Yeah. yeah, she got it. Here we go. Okay. Even though he's a famous Ghanaian. Um, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Is it famous South Africans? <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry, I, I need to concentrate. I'm, I'm concentrating. Okay. okay, then we'll... Uh, I, like I said, I'm terrible. 
Uh, ik sta voor jou vanavond hier op trending SA. Is okay. not, isn't that your favorite who was celebrating his birthday the other day? No, he's dead. No, is it a pick oh. or a pier or one of those? No, <laughs> slightly more evil. Oh, um, Terre Blanche. There's the one. You see. Okay, yeah. so, okay, it's a good thing we didn't recognize that voice. Okay. And then I've kind of completely Ex-tone lost the other. Ex-tone for you, that's so <laughs> random, Chris. That was, it was that booming go. voice. Yes. So, uh, uh, yes, I, no, I can't do this one. I'm okay. I'm trying to find it. Pick the next one. Hi, welcome to Trending on 3. I, anyone? Bobby Molloy. Ah, there you got it. Okay. Nailed it. Boom. Nice one, Chris. That's not how she speaks. <laughs> No. Guys, you closed your eyes. That was Papi. Guys, guys. Yeah, host, guys. I, 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 I thought, got it. My yeah. eyes yeah. were closed, and I thought you, Papi, was sitting here now. Exactly. I mean, wow. <laughs> back, Lala, let's go back. Jeez, I love it. I love it. I love it. Chris Forrest, thank you very much for being here. All the thank best you. with thank everything you that you do in raising those gorgeous little girls. Chris Forrest, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. When we return, it's time for what's <laughs> up on WhatsApp. No, 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 wait. Oh, okay. okay. We can you chat during the commercial break. I'm very confused. Live TV. Whatever you do. Don't congratulate yourself too much or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance. So are everybody else's. Enjoy your body.